Money doesn't equal results. It matters how you spend the money. It matters that reforms are in place. Another packed agenda at the State Board of Education meeting tonight. We're digging into a long list of issues the board covered. We want to start with a look at the education budget the state superintendent's proposing. Fox 25's Capital Reporter Peyton May was at the meeting earlier today to break it down for us. All state agencies are in the process of approving their proposed budget request for the legislature to appropriate. And now we have a first look at OSD's budget request, a decrease in education funding. I'd like to maybe we approve the uh, proposed budget. By a unanimous vote, the State Board of Education approved a $3.9 billion education request to present to the legislature. But while lawmakers have consistently voted over the last few years to increase the budget that impacts the classroom, the state superintendent wants to decrease the budget, specifically by $47 million. We appreciate the direction of funds and education, but we're not just going to come back in and try to beat that number every year to come up with programs that we don't feel like there's ROI on. The budget breakdown includes Walters' Back to the Basics plan, a $10 million signing bonus for teachers, a $38 million investment in reading, and an $11 million focus on math and science, both with tutoring and training. While I was at OSD digging into the proposed budget request, Fox 25's Wendy Suarez was sitting down with the governor asking for his opinion. You know, I don't think we should cut education at all. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to speak to what he said. I, I didn't hear him, but no, we're going to continue to invest in our teachers, invest in our schools. Now his answer is something I took back to Superintendent Walters. Your budget proposal has about a $47 million I think, decrease from last year. Um, we were able to speak with the governor in between the meeting and he said he does not support any decrease in education funding. Are you concerned that this won't move forward both in the legislature and at the governor's desk? So look, what we have right now is rampant inflation due to the Biden administration. And what we have are agencies that continue just to ask for more money. What we're going to continue to do is we are continuing to keep flat the investment in the classroom. But what we're not going to do is continue just to ask for more money every single year. It's important to note that the state legislature has the final say on the education budget, which will be figured out next session. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Peyton May, Fox 25 News. We're going to take a closer look at education funding in Oklahoma, how it compares to some of the other states in our region here. According to the Oklahoma State School Board Association, our neighboring states invest substantially more in education on a per student basis. In 2021, studies showed Oklahoma's per student funding just more than $10,000 compared to $11,000 and $12,000 ranges in Kansas, in Colorado, New Mexico, Arkansas, and Texas. Now, our average teacher compensation also below the regional average. As you can see here, this chart from OSSBA shows our average around $55,000 compared to 58. That dotted line coming across. That's that average line for the region. However, our average compensation is now above Kansas, Missouri, and Arkansas. If you go back to the 2016-17 school year, we ranked below all other six states in our region when it came with an average salary of $45,000. We've seen a 23% increase between then and now. Now, just this year, we have increased the education funding budget by 21 and a half percent. And according to the House of Representatives, that provides schools with an estimated thousand dollars more per student. Big increase there. Now this was part of the $12.8 billion state budget approved back in May. Now, that budget included an education deal involving $625 million. $500 million went to the education funding formula. This includes teacher pay raises up to $6,000 and six weeks of paid maternity leave for teachers. $125 million went to the Redbud formula, which helps school districts with low tax revenue. There's also $10 million over three years for a literacy initiative and $150 million for a three-year program for school safety and security. The big picture here is... Uh, the legislature behind me, the House, the Senate, uh, we all want to have the best top 10 education system in the entire country. And that's what you're seeing today. You're seeing historic investments in education. The plan also included $150 million for tax credits for private school tuition and homeschool funding for families in the state. Another issue addressed at today's State Board of Education meeting, student record changes. The board approved emergency rules prohibiting any alteration of sex or gender on student records from prior years. If a school district gets a request to change sex or gender on student records, they would also be required to report it to OSDE. This all stems from a request involving more public schools. They were asked to alter the sex or gender on a birth certificate after a student filed for a name change in Cleveland County school districts who are presented with these sorts of orders start reporting them to us because there's no requirement for that right now and so we don't have necessarily visibility into how many of the county courts are being activist on these sorts of issues. 
The board unanimously approved those emergency rules, which now go to the governor to sign off on. And concerns surrounding failing schools, another main focus at today's meeting. In Oklahoma, 42 schools declared as more rigorous intervention, or MIR, MRI schools. Uh, schools get this designation if they receive an F on state report cards for three straight years. Those schools then get additional funding and more resources, including a school support specialist. But Superintendent Walter says there's no plan to address the MRI sites that failed to approve even after receiving that extra support. My belief is that when you see schools that continue failing year after year, that is a huge concern because what ends up happening is you embed a culture of failure in these school districts. So they don't come off of it. Walters recommends starting a process where if MRI schools continue failing, their accreditation could be at stake. He plans to bring the issue to the board to vote on next month. State Superintendent Walters facing backlash tonight from a group he claims is responsible for feeding money into Tulsa Public Schools from the Chinese government. Fox 25's David Chasanoff joining us now to break down the details. And David, which organization is involved and how are they responding to the allegations out there? Adam, this involves a leadership group called the International Leadership of Texas. It's actually a charter school, I should say. Their CEO spoke at the State Department of Education meeting today, and he tells Ryan Walters his claims are not true. I've not sent any money to Tulsa Public Schools. Eddie Conger says at IL Texas, children learn English, Spanish, and Chinese. Doing it out of national security. That's going to make America stronger. Ryan Walters accuses Tulsa Public Schools of having a contract with the Chinese Communist Party through a program called Confucius Classroom. We continue to ask for all information available and we continue to see roadblocks from the district. On Thursday, Iowa, Texas sent Fox 25 a copy of its former agreement with TPS, which became official in September of last year. It allowed a world language teacher at Booker T. Washington High School to take professional development classes with the Confucius Classroom Coordination Office at IL Texas, much to Walter's dismay. Any kind of agreement with a communist party is unacceptable. TPS says the expired deal, quote, did not involve the transfer of any funds to Tulsa Public Schools. It adds the district has not received funding from IL Texas. Congress said the same thing at today's OSDE meeting. Not one dime. I would have, but they said no. The two sides actually parted ways a day after the August OSDE meeting, when Walters shared his concerns about Chinese Communist Party propaganda in Tulsa schools. The, the money from adversarial governments, we, we've got to get this under control. More than a month later, Walters claims TPS has not shared much information with him about the former agreement. It's also the lack of transparency. He says that today, but two weeks ago, TPS answered all of OSDE's questions via an email. Now, Walters claims he did not get the proper information from TPS before he testified in Washington, D.C. last week. But records show that TPS did email him that proper information four days beforehand. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News. Superintendent Ryan Walters says he's also looking into the accreditation of Western Heights. Western Heights, what we're looking at is, first of all, what did the district do in their hiring process to allow an individual with this many issues to be a principal in the district. So what, what was the process, number one? Number two, did they follow the process? Number three, when these issues were brought to their attention, why haven't they acted? Uh, there doesn't need to be a drag queen running one of our schools. I've been really clear on that. I've heard from parents, again, this, this spans Republican, Democrat parents, it spans parents in the district, parents outside the district, they just can't believe this has happened. So that doesn't need to happen again. It shouldn't have happened in the first place. Walters says they're still in the fact-finding phase of the process. The issue has not yet been addressed by the Board of Education. It's possible it could be brought up in the next meeting in October. That's your big story breakdown. You can find more on today's State Board of Education meeting on OKCFox.com. And if you missed any part of the big story breakdown, it's on our YouTube channel. Scan the QR code on your screen or search OKCFox.